All right, so the first step in installing your bar and mirrors for the Triumph T120 is to remove your existing mirrors. That's with a six millimeter Allen wrench. After you take the mirror off, Triumph provides in the mirror kit a plastic plug that fits right into that. You just gotta push that in. There are some aftermarket plugs that you can get that screw in from the bottom, but for now this works fine. And maybe later we'll take care of that. The next piece is to take off the bar end finisher cap. And uh, that's a four millimeter Allen wrench. That just comes right off. Now you want to save all of this in case you decide to return the bike to its original state. Okay, once you get the bar and finisher off, you're going to want to put the retainer ring on the end of the bar. Triumph includes two different sizes in the mirror package here. You want the larger one, the wider one, to go in here. You just slip that on. Take your mirror, and in order to put the mirror on, you're using a five millimeter Allen wrench. You can put it at the angle that you prefer. I'm going to have mine so it's just level here with this piece. Now you do need to tighten this up pretty good in order so it doesn't spin. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I do not have torque wrenches, so we're just going to tighten this up pretty good. And it does not move. Next step you want to do is to get your bar end finisher flat cap that's purchased separately. That's a lot, a lot of people don't know that, but that's purchased separately. I found that out from another YouTube video. So you get your bar and finisher cap and you can either use the screws that came with the mirror kit or use the ones off your other finishers, the cap end finishers. Just replace them the exact same way. And this takes a four millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, that's one side. Once we get the other side on, we'll show you what it both looks like. It's the same procedure on the other side. The only thing you have to be cautious of the other side is to make sure your throttle is still moving freely. Okay, so there you have it, both installed. And you do want to make sure, as I mentioned earlier, that this throttle turns completely. And if it doesn't, you need to make some adjustments. So there you have it. Pretty simple. Again, I'm not a mechanic. They went on pretty easy.